वेलकम बैक टू टेक्नो सैज एंड यूट्यूब चैनल सो द सग कंटिन्यूस फॉर इंटेल को आई नाइन थर्टीन एंड फोर्टीन जेम बेसिकली इंटेल केम आउट एंड सेड दैट सेवर मैनुफैक्चर्स मदरबोर्ड मैनुफैक्चर्स हैव रिलीज द बायोस प्रोफाइल लेबल एज इंटेल बेसलाइन प्रोफाइल हाउ एवर दिस बायोस प्रोफाइल आर नॉट द सेम एज द इंटेल डिफॉल्ट सेटिंग रिकमेंडेशन दैट इंटेल हैज रिसेंटली शेयर विद इट्स पार्टनर रिगार्डिंग द इंस्टेबिलिटी इशूज रिपोर्टेड ऑन थर्टीन एंड फोर्टीन जेन स्क्यू एंड दिस बेसलाइन प्रोफाइल Bio setting appeared to be based on power delivery guidance previously provided by Intel to manufacturer, describing the various power envelope and things. So they just went back and things like that. It's a pretty confusing thing which is happening with 13th and 14th gen regarding Intel's default setting. And this is a weird statement. Like basically, they blame man motherboard manufacturers for it, but. Yeah, let's see how things turns out to be. I will keep you updated regarding it, and we will basically know about it in time. So yeah, just subscribe to the channel. Next up, Intel's entire Arrow Lake lineup has been leaked basically, and there will be thirteen SKUs, and for the first time they will be called Intel Core Ultra Two Hundred series. It was first from Benchlife Info, and later reported by Video Cards, and there will be thirteen SKUs, three SKUs for K series. No, on K series will get three SKUs, F series will get two SKUs, and T series will be getting five SKUs. So yeah, the entire lineup has been leaked, and as you can see, it's a pretty different than the first lineup of Intel. Along with it, Intel Core Ultra Nine Two Eighty Five K is twenty four core, twenty four thread part with eight performance and sixteen efficiency cores, and this is different because the There won't be any hyper threading. That's why they didn't doubt it. They will have a different technology on it. It is five point five gigahertz boost and one twenty five watts TDP. The next is Intel Core Ultra nine two seventy five. It is twenty four core, twenty four thread part. Intel Core Ultra seven is two sixty five two sixty five K is twenty cores, twenty thread part. Same goes for Intel Core Ultra seven two fifty five, and the uh, Intel Core Ultra five. 245k is 14 core 14 thread, six performance, eight efficiency, and 10 core 10 thread part is 240f. And yeah, overall these are pretty nice. And each one has having 125 watts. Top SKUs having 24 125 watts, while lower SKUs has 65 watts. Next up, AMD is renaming their lineup for strict points. Basically, Zen 5 is getting a rename. And it comes from ASUS. Basically, it was leaked by ASUS a little bit because on the Vivo Book S series, they listed in AMD Ryzen AI 9HX170 processors, and it comes with 12 core, 24 threads, and also the AI performance, Ryzen AI performance up to 77 watts. And we already know like Microsoft into AI PCs, there's Nvidia which is doing better. So yeah, it is to be expected. But this change in saying Ryzen AI 9 HX 170 processor is a bit weird for me. But at the same time, this was removed as soon as it was noticed by other people. So it was went back to Ryzen 9 18 45 HS. So this just confirms it. Next up, we have some bad news regarding RTX 50 series. Basically, according to Moore's law, is dead. According to his sources, RTX 50 60. Which is their lower end part will come with 8 GB of VRAM, which is weird to see because RTX 4060 is coming with 8 GB of VRAM. Was 8 GB of VRAM and RTX 5060 will come with 8 GB of VRAM, and at the same time, this generations of graphics card should come with more RAM because the game requires more RAM. 8 GB is not cutting off at this point, but yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, that's it from me today. What do you think about the news? Sound of your thoughts in the comment section below.